an open question or a question is a good metaphor for the Buddha's middle way, you know, because it's it's not you know the Buddha talked about um, this this middle way beyond the extremes of you know existence or non-existence or beliefs and doubts and um, the question uh, the questioning mind is is a great metaphor for that because it's not about believing anything because it's open and yet um, it's not doubting anything either because again it's open um, so I think that's um, it was with this. Um, this understanding or using this metaphor that I wrote the book, um, which is very, very valuable uh, to me. And I hope it's valuable uh, to other people, too. That's why I guess I use the word open question, open questioning, instead of a question that's really pursuing an answer. Um, And this is quite interesting, uh, because when you look at at, uh, the middle way philosophy, or I've been learning much more about Zen, you know, like Zen koans, it's like the, the question is dualistic, but the resolution is, is not dualistic. It's open and awake and, and like an open question. Um, there's a sense of wonder and awe uh, about living in an open question. And it reminds me of my favorite quote from the sutras by the Buddha, um, that those are, who are awake uh, live in a constant state of amazement. And I think that's the open questioning is just this ability to bear this kind of open uh, way of being, um, this kind of open engagement. Um, I find that uh, that's how I felt when I was writing the book. I felt open and engaged. So it was wonderful. Um, like, how do we live in a world of uncertainty, you know, or how do we find meaning um, in a world that's always changing and kind of ungraspable and uncertain? That's kind of like a koan or, or almost like a predicament or, or a conundrum or something. Yeah, that's, and I find it quite beautiful. Like we're always trying to solve or fix, you know, solve these predicaments or fix the world. And in some ways, the world is not a fixable phenomena because it's always changing and moving. So it's not that, that the world or our life or our bodies or anything is broken. It's just it's very dynamic. So to learn to, to stay open in the midst of that is quite um, powerful and energizing, and I think, for, to me, speaks completely to the practice. Um, so... <laughs>